So we're going to the Sapphire Coast. At least I can say Sapphire, I apparently can't spell it. First swim since I had the surgery. That's a Two, silly idea, three. Right? If you want reception, you have to go to the reception. We're almost there. Hello? Hello. Oh, hello? Look how many kangaroos there are. It was meant to storm. <gasps> Rain is here. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. Brayden and I are currently on a little road trip. We very spontaneously decided to book a little trip before Brayden starts his new job on Monday. Where are we going, Brayden? We're going to the Sapphire. I actually don't know exactly where, but it's a, well, I do know exactly, but I don't know where it is. It's the Sapphire Coast though. Yeah, so we're going to the Sapphire Coast and we've never been there before. It's halfway to Melbourne, so it is a decent drive. We've got to drive for about six hours mm. and we're just going for two nights. So I love how we've booked somewhere pretty far away, literally for two nights. But, It'll you be know, fun though, it's like... Yeah, it's fun. And we haven't even said like where we're staying, but we're actually going glamping which is mm. so different and fun. So we're gonna be staying in some tents that are designed for African temperatures. So it's like safari style. But our plan is to stop off at a few places on the way. So we've just stopped off at Berry and Brayden got a donut, mm. which I didn't plan on eating. We didn't want and then as soon as I bought it, she wanted some. Yeah, it was really nice. And now we're en route to Jarvis Bay. We're going to go to Whitehaven Beach. I've been wanting to go there for so long. That's actually where we like originally thought of going, but there wasn't too much accommodation available since it was so last minute. So yeah. we're just going to stop off there, maybe have some lunch, and then hopefully we'll arrive in Tanja, which is like the area that we're staying not too late. Yeah. So... Yes, come along with us for our road trip. <laughs> We've made it to Hyams Beach and I thought I'd been here before, but I actually don't think I have now that we're here because I don't recognize it at all, but how stunning is it? It is really nice. I've never been before Beautiful. Either. If you guys don't know much about Hyams Beach, I'm pretty sure it has the world's widest sand. I know it's the widest sand in Australia anyway. And it's so, so nice. I can't believe we haven't come here together before because it's really like not that far. Like it's about three hours away. Yeah. Well, but... I guess you're coming here, you're coming here. Like you sort of, I guess you would stop here on a road trip, but. I know, but it's so busy. Everyone's decided to come here today. I would like to swim now that I'm looking at the water, to be fair. <laughs> Maybe we should. What do you think? Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. Anyway. We can go for a little walk, then we can decide. Yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like because it's so beautiful. We're now going for lunch at Hyams Beachside Cafe. We probably could have just walked here from where we parked before, but we thought it would be further away, but Oops. we just got like oh, the best there. park. Oh, hello, we're going straight into the bush. We got the best park out the front. We're very lucky. And also we've just realized that there's like a completely other part to the beach. So that's why I was confused before. And I was like, this is very small, but I think like there's a completely other part if I'm correct. And yeah, it's a lot bigger. So we'll go have some lunch if we can get in because it looks quite busy. Then we'll go for a swim. I'm so happy. This is such a nice way to start our little trip. Mm. Hey, also- We're in a good spot as well. We don't get much shade Yeah. We just drove past these little cottages that was actually going to book for us to stay in mm. here. They are very nice. You can have a little pink cottage or a blue one. <laughs> so maybe next time we can stay there. Yeah. But Put it yeah. on the list. Best of both worlds, because we get to go here and then we get to go glamping. to the beach now and it's so much bigger than we thought like I said before but it's beautiful the water looks so like crystal clear and teal and the sand's very white and reflective I can't see yeah Brayden's squinting he's like this because he can't see but we're gonna go for a quick little dip Brayden's very eager to get in he's not very good at like relaxing on the beach and just like sitting on a towel and chilling he's just like as soon as we get here he wants to get in the water but I like relaxing and like building up to it and then going for a swim. So I guess we're just gonna go for a swim, aren't we, Brayden? Yes. Why? You don't wanna relax with me? I don't really know if there's science to back this, but the sand doesn't feel very hot right now. And you know how like in the middle of the day, usually the sand like burns your feet when you're walking on it. It doesn't feel like well, that. Look how fine so, it is, so fine. Yeah, like guys, look how white it is. It feels really, really nice and soft. Also, this is my first swim since I had the surgery. So I'm wearing a one piece to kind of like cover up the scars because I'm not allowed to get sun on it for a while. 
but I'm really excited about it because we went to the central coast and to the beach the other day and I still like didn't swim just because I was being cautious but I feel like it's been two weeks now so I'm ready to go have a swim. I can't see. I just literally you can can't see. I can't see. You gotta look at the sun and go like this. I'm not looking at One, the sun. That's a two, silly idea. Three. No, no, you look at the sun with your eyes closed, you muppet. You go like this and then it adjusts and then you go down the barrel of the lens. I learned that from a photo shoot when I was like 10. You go like this. I can't see. Oh, they go hello. three, two, one. You look. I can't do it. <laughs> Why can I do it? I can open my eyes wide. This is honestly the best I can do. Really? Yes. We have like two hours left of the road trip. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting there later than we planned, but it's okay. It's okay. We've just been taking it slow. We're eating some harvest snaps because we're a bit hungry. But we've been driving through all of the towns. It's actually been a really nice drive, hey, mm. because we've got to see like all of down the coast. Like we've been driving through so many towns, and I'm like, it's made me realize how much of New South Wales I've actually seen. I'm very, very lucky. So we're currently in Batemans Bay right now. Came here years and years ago when I was younger and I'm like, oh, this is so nostalgic. And so we came here to get Braden a toothbrush mm -hmm. and me some snacks. And you, I guess. Mainly me. Oh, also, the weather is so different here. It's actually cold and completely cloudy. But as you will have seen back at Himes Beach, it was so sunny, sunny and hot. Mm. I'm like, it's crazy how like an hour's drive can make all of the difference to the weather. <laughs> you having a nice time? Yeah. Loving your playlist. Our taste of music is quite different sometimes, hey? I would say, like, I like more... What would you say I like? Mainstream. Mainstream. <laughs> Basic mainstream music. All, like, old-school sing-along songs, and some of them you don't like. Mm. And then Brayden likes rap which i'm not really a fan well, of not necessarily but i'm a bit of everything but ella just doesn't like it in general <laughs> yeah but we have a happy medium which is jack johnson <laughs> so basically we're like let's just put jack johnson on or anything similar that's what we can agree on <laughs> <laughs> We've already driven past a snake, an echidna, and a kangaroo. So, three Australian wildlife animals. And I feel like there's gonna be quite a few more around here. So we've just arrived. It is very peaceful and there's so many kangaroos behind me. I was like, oh my gosh, look at all the kangaroos. So we went to the reception to check in and then there's nobody here, but we've just realized that it's kind of like a self check-in thing because we walked over here and there's a sign and it says like the last name of the person who's staying at like each cabin. And so we're staying at the cabin called Lamandra. So this is what the grounds look like. And we are over here, Jones. And then, yeah, there's only a few other ones. I thought there was gonna be heaps more actually. And there's like a little fireplace and everything so we can make a fire if we want. You can't hear anything but birds, hey? Yeah, I'd say so. Hello? How cute, this is our little tent. It's actually quite big, hey? I'm so excited. Okay, one light, two light. It's not rabbit food, Alex. Is that um, kangaroo food? Oh, we've got food to feed the kangaroos. And then we've got like a little heater here, a little desk. This is so cool and way more open than I expected. Mm. Like literally, this is like a massive tent. Yeah, we've got like a little dining table yeah. out there. Yeah. Do you want to unzip that? We should probably close it behind us though, because that's the whole point. Yes, we don't Otherwise, want to. Otherwise, we get bugs in. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got a good view of our bed from here. And we've got a little lounge area with a little table there. And then if we come outside, we've got our little dining table and then a view of the lake. 
and I was saying earlier, I don't know if you guys could hear me in the car, but you can actually kayak on this lake. So this is a view from around here. And then is this like for a fire? I'm not sure Do you put like wood in it or something? Yeah. We've got a fire pit down here. I don't know if we'll be using that, but yeah, this is so nice. It's actually a lot cooler than I expected here, hey? Yeah. I thought we would be quite hot and I was like, mm, we might be hot and there's no air conditioning yeah, or anything, but too. yeah, they're designed so well. So it's like nice and cool. Hello. Yeah, let's go see what's in the doors around here. So we've got a barbecue. I said to Brayden, it might be nice for us to have a barbecue while we're here. And then wow, this is, this is nice. So we've got a little kitchen. This is good actually. It means that like when we cook food, it'll be separate to the bedroom. So like we won't have bugs coming in our room or anything. Oh, they've given us bread. Yeah. Oh, they've given us bread. Oh, we've, we've got, got like got muesli. Eggs. We've got two eggs. Yeah. Nope. They did say this. They said that you get some like complimentary breakfast stuff for your first day. I feel like we could make a nice salad or something and then have a barbecue for one of our meals. And this is the bathroom. Oh, this is a really nice bathroom. Got a massive bath, got a mirror, a shower. I'm just gonna have to remember to shut all the doors behind us because we don't want any lock kangaroo friends. I've got the fire on now and we've brought in my suitcase. I literally bought my suitcase that I took to Europe. And I bought it for two nights, but my excuse is I had to bring quite a few outfits because I might be getting some content while I'm here. I wasn't too sure if I'd get those photos, so I had to just like bring it anyway, just in case. This is so cozy. Look, the fire's on now. Oh, is it on now? Yeah. I wasn't sure that I actually got it on. Yeah, no, you got it on. Oh, good. So nice. Is it warm? Yeah, it is warm. I mean, I hope so, it's a fire. So we've settled in to our tent now. It's so, so nice. And we've actually decided to come out for dinner in the end. We were gonna just like get some groceries mm. and cook, but it's like seven and it's getting a little bit late. And we it's thought, you know what? Easier. Let's eat out tonight and then we'll go get some groceries and like cook our own dinner tomorrow. So we've driven 20 minutes out of the area to a town called Tarthra. And this is where it's all happening. This is like a pretty big town compared to where we are staying in Tanja. There's a really nice beach here and a few restaurants, like not too many, mm. but I think we're gonna go to a pizza place. What's it called? That was Ella's suggestion. It was my suggestion. I don't usually eat pizza these days just because it like upsets my tummy, but just, just feeling like it right now. Plus I'm putting my like stomach to the test at the moment because I do feel like certain foods I was reacting to could have been because of my like appendix. It might have not been because you, yeah. I was reacting to the food. It might have just been because I was having like stomach issues. So it's like an experiment. Plus like, why not try something new since we're on holiday? We're just by the beach right now. It looks really nice actually. It's quite a big beach. The sand's definitely not white here. It's more <laughs> yellow. Just wanted to check out the surf before we went and got dinner. Anyway, it's so, so nice. And we have no Wi-Fi at the cabin or like any reception. Or any internet. Yeah, no reception or internet. So it's been quite good. And I think this is going to be a good little detox for us. So if we want reception, we have to go up to, have to go the reception. To yeah. Reception? If you want reception, you have to go to the reception. Maybe that's why they call it reception. Maybe not. Change of plans. They're only doing takeaway pizza at the moment. And we just didn't really want to wait around. So mm. we're going to go try and find somewhere else. So we'll let you know when we find where we're going to eat. So we've ended up coming to this really cute cafe for dinner that actually is open for like breakfast, lunch and dinner. Oh, I think our food, wait, no, is this our food? Oh, our food's so fast. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I hope we should be considering how long I would you so wait out here. Oh, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you. <laughs> Look how many kangaroos there are. Are they gonna move? Wait, what the heck? Oh no, there's literally, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's probably so about slow. 30 kangaroos. Cool. No kangaroos got in the way. Thank you very much. Go 
morning everyone it is a new day excuse the hair we just went for a morning swim on Tarthra Beach I believe and it was so so nice you will have seen like a bunch of montage footage this morning we went for breakfast at this really nice cafe I'll pop the name on the screen the coffee was great the food was great I was just overall extremely impressed and like this town doesn't really have that many cafes it's literally like two cafes to go to breakfast from both of them are just amazing i'm like i love this town so so much and so we're going to be spending a little bit of time here we're actually just going to the supermarket now to get some snacks for lunch gonna to go to the bottle shop but we've just been driving around like the streets and we're like this is so so nice but we're having such a nice time here on the sapphire coast at least i can say sapphire I apparently can't spell it if you guys follow me on my instagram you will have seen that i wrote sapphire wrong on my instagram stories and then there's an instagram account called celebrity spell check and someone must have sent in my spelling mistake and then they reposted it and they were like this girl is on fire i'm like great thanks so much i know i can't spell but anyway slightly embarrassed anywho we will go get our food now to work is making our lunch while I've been getting ready. Yeah, this looks really good. So you guys will have seen we went to the grocery store and we just like got a bunch of salad stuff that we're gonna have for lunch with our like cheese and crackers and then I think we're gonna have like a salad dinner with a barbecue as well. Yes. Sorry I heard the voice then. Anyone home? Oh hello! I don't know if you guys heard that, but I was like, I swear I can hear a voice when I was in here with Brayden. Turns out it was actually the owner. He came to say hi because obviously yesterday we just like checked in ourselves because it's like a self check-in place. He's like, just wanted to check everything's fine. He was so lovely, had a little chat. And yeah, back to what I was saying, Brayden's been making us lunch. I've just been getting ready because I actually have to shoot some Instagram photos for an activewear brand today. I think we're gonna drive around and try and find some like good spots to take photos. It's such a beautiful day. It was meant to rain today. And so we're like, oh, it might be like a cozy one. We won't really get out too, too much. And then it's been amazing weather, but apparently it's gonna storm tonight, mm. which I'm a little bit nervous about because we're basically outside. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but still it's like a bit weird because you're not like in a house. Also, if you're interested to know what else we got from the shops, we picked up a wine. Brayden loves Pinot Noir, so we got this one to try. Hopefully it's good. And then we also got some teas and we've got two Pook teas and I've never tried this one, but Brayden and I were actually listening to a podcast all about tea on the way here. So we were like really inspired to try a matcha green tea one because like apparently green tea is a tea with the most benefits and you can have even more benefits from it if it has matcha in it. So we're like, let's get that. And then Brayden's mum actually has this relaxed tea and we have it before we go to bed, don't we? And it's so, so nice. I think it tastes a little bit like licorice tea. I think it's got like a little bit of licorice in it. Yeah, it does. But it's really, really nice. I definitely recommend these two. Everything else is just in the fridge. So there's a little haul. It just tastes like ginger beer. What, do you like it? Yeah, not as much as ginger beer though. Oh, listen to that. ASMR. Unpopular opinion. Ritz or clicks are better than Jack's. I think so. I don't know if everyone knows what they are, but I way prefer Ritz crackers over Jats. They're kind of like melt in your mouth and they're just like softer. Jats are a bit harder. There's cheap versions of Jats. No, they're yummier versions of Jats, I think. But then Brayden prefers these, plain crackers. Oh great, I'll just put my finger in the dip. 
Hey everyone, it has been a little while, probably been like five hours since I last vlogged, but Brayden and I actually went to the beach. We found this like little beach that was just down the road from where we're staying and we went there and I got a bunch of photos done for a brand that I'm working for and then yeah, we went to the beach for a little bit and then it started to get really windy because it was meant to storm. But then apparently the storm just hasn't arrived, so I guess that's a good thing. So we've been sitting outside just chatting, having snacks, drinking wine. We've got the fire on back here because it's getting a little bit cold. And now we're actually cooking some stuff on the barbecue. We're just having some chicken kebabs that Brayden's cooking around here. And we were gonna have a salad with it, but we've eaten so many snacks. I just don't really know if we feel like eating salad as well. We just wanna be unhealthy instead, apparently, don't we? You having fun barbecuing? Lots of fun. Our kebabs are ready. Brayden's got three. I've just got two, we've got some wine. I spilt the wine absolutely everywhere because I was focusing on filming and then I didn't realize that I completely missed the glass and then poured the wine all over the floor and the table and the chair. Oh. 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 I've cleaned it up now and we've got a little bit less wine than we probably should have because half of it went on the floor. But this is our little dinner and the storm is definitely rolling in right now. It's starting to rain and it's really, really cold. So it's only 7 p.m. but I think we will be in that bed very soon. Rain is here. You can probably hear how windy it is this morning and it was like this all night, wasn't it, Brayden? We didn't really have the best sleep because it was just like non-stop noise. But we put the fire on. Even though it is actually like sunny outside, it just feels like there's like a storm going on, but it is actually sunny. It's just really cold because of the wind. So We've made our breakfast and we're going to eat it inside. We've just got some avo toast with eggs and we've got to get this done pretty fast because checkout is in less than an hour. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. I know. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. And that wraps up this vlog. I'm home now. We had the best time away. I think it's one of my favorite trips that Brayden and I have done in Australia. He actually started work today. So yeah, very exciting. So glad we got in a little getaway before his first day, but we didn't end up filming any of the road trip on the way home. We did stop in a few places, but to be honest, I was feeling very hormonal. So I was like, kind of just want to get home but I do want to say that we went through another town called Bermagai which is super beautiful as well which is on the Sapphire Coast and it's quite close to Tanger where we stayed so I honestly just fell in love with the Sapphire Coast and I really really want to go back and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog and I maybe inspired you to go and visit the Sapphire Coast as well because oh I loved it but if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.